So CES 2025, just like every other year, is always full of new smart home gadgets for you to spend your hard earned money on. So rather than just focusing on all the individual cool tech I saw this year at CES, I'm gonna focus on the four big trends that I feel are gonna shape the smart home industry in 2025 and beyond. Hey there neighbors, I'm Ryan the Tech Guy and welcome back to This Smart House. Last week was CES 2025 and I got to spend a ton of time seeing a bunch of great new tech and meeting some new people from the industry. There was so much interesting tech to cover that I decided to split this up into multiple different videos. This video is gonna be focused specifically on the trends I see coming up in smart home tech. This is the area where I get to spend the most time during the show. Then I'm gonna release two other videos either as full videos or shorts to cover renewable tech and the general technology that doesn't fit into those other two categories. So stay tuned for those. So with that out of the way, let's dive into what trends stood out this year. So for the first trend that I saw is robots that really multitask. At this year's show, we got to see a lot of what different brands thought is the future of smart homes. And quite a few of them landed on multitasking. Several companies showcase robots that are no longer just limited to a single task, like vacuuming or mopping. They now combine multiple functions to simplify daily chores, save time and maximize the value of your investment. So starting off with what headlined the show with Roborock and Dream. These companies introduced vacuum robots that were equipped with articulating arms. These arms are designed to pick up objects in front of the robot and prevent them from getting sucked up into the robot itself. Some of them can even move those items to a designated spot for later collection. While these were mostly renders and prototypes, they did still spark a lot of buzz. Roborock debuted their Saros Z70, which had some limited demos in the booths. They also had a cute little chorus line of robotic arms, which is fun to show off. Dream showed off their version as well, but we're gonna have to wait and see what the usability of either one of these robots actually are once they get into the hands of testers. Because we all know it can look great on the show floor, but will it actually be functional and usable in your smart home? We also saw SwitchBot debut their modular system. They unveiled their K20 Plus Pro, a versatile household vacuum robot designed to perform multiple tasks throughout its new Fusion platform. This takes the K20 and equips it with various modules, allowing it to function as a robot vac, plus a mobile air purifier, a pan and tilt camera for real-time monitoring, a table that can deliver objects up to 17 pounds, a mobile fan for spot cooling, or a tablet holder for mobile conferencing or entertainment. One of the cool things about the Fusion platform is that it's being designed to be a little bit more open than what we're used to. It has various power ports, such as USB-C, allowing you to integrate your own custom-made attachments, 3D printed components, and third-party devices like speakers or cameras. SwitchBot is also developing a mechanical arm to further expand the robot's capabilities. Plus, like most tech, it'll support matter. Now, Yarbo expanded on their existing yard management solution with an upgraded version they're calling their core. Users can purchase the base unit and add attachments like a twin deck mower, a snow blower, leaf blower, or even an upcoming sprayer for lawn chemicals. They're also debuting an edger and a trimmer, making this a comprehensive outdoor solution. This makes this much more practical as the same base unit can accommodate multiple attachments being used throughout the year. And they even showed off their towing capacity by pulling one of their staff members around the show floor. The base unit will also include a built-in Bluetooth speaker, which I guess could be handy for outdoor entertainment or to annoy your neighbors. Now moving on to our second trend, touchless smart locks. We saw the next generation of smart locks at CES 2025. A lot of these include some new technology like biometric palm recognition and touchless systems leveraging ultra wideband or UBW. These advancements aim to redefine how we secure our homes and increase the convenience of coming in day to day. Now companies like TCL, TP-Link and Philips unveiled locks that use near infrared technology to scan the unique vein pattern in your hand. This technology makes the veins visible to the camera creating a sort of map. And this technology might seem similar if you've been to a bank's safety deposit vault or had a difficult blood draw at a hospital. They claim this approach is more secure than fingerprints and is unaffected by weather or skin damage. While this is still new, it'll be really interesting to see how these perform in the real world. Now on the other side, we've got touchless smart locks that use ultra wideband. Quite a few brands had their own version of an ultra wideband lock. This offers true touchless entry with only using your smartphone. The UWB locks, such as the Schlage Sense Pro, the Ultralock Bolt Mission, and the Lockley Secure Pro can detect a user's approach, and based on speed, direction, and distance, unlock automatically as they near the door. This cutting-edge technology eliminates the need for fumbling with keys or even getting your phone out. 
It creates a seamless handshake between your smart home tech and your device in order to safely and securely unlock your home. They also include alternative methods like NFC, fingerprint readers, and keypads for maximum flexibility. I'm super happy because unlike HomeKey, this will work on Android phones as well. With the advancements in biometrics and ultra-wideband technologies, smart locks are not only more secure, but more convenient. What makes this technology even more exciting is increasing accessibility for those with special needs or senior members of your family. Now for the third trend, we're starting to see a bigger adoption of longer range communication technologies. Now we've heard the promise of having a smart home that can communicate over a long distance for many years, but now we're starting to see actual products come out that support these different protocols. With advancements in protocols like LoRa and Z-Wave Long Range, these technologies address the growing challenges of maintaining reliable connections in large properties, outbuildings, or even commercial setups. Now Z-Wave has always been one of my favorite smart home protocols with its interference resistance, meshing capability, and overall reliability. But with Z-Wave LR's extended range capabilities, you can now have reliable connectivity for devices in large or challenging environments, sometimes up to a mile. This eliminates the needs for additional internet connections or wireless bridges. I got to spend some time with the Z-Wave Alliance, along with a lot of other smart home creators, exploring the latest innovations from different brands. This includes some great products from brands like Zoos, Alfred International, and Vision, along with some new developer tools for creating the next generation of products from Silicon Labs and Trident. Now, surprisingly, I did see more adoption of LoRa technology at CES 2025. My friends from Yolink had some other products featured in a booth, and a few other manufacturers are starting to adopt this protocol more on the commercial side. This protocol allows you to use low power, long range communication devices to connect different parts of your home or properties together. Like I mentioned, most of this was geared towards commercial applications, but it's encouraging to see this protocol gaining traction in both residential and business contexts. This can really help out if you have an outbuilding or wider property where you still wanna have that convenience capability without having to add in a bunch of additional gear. Now our final trend focuses on making smart home tech feel more like a natural part of your daily life. This allows it to blend into familiar objects and offer intuitive control that it doesn't take an engineering degree to set up. Many brands are integrating smart systems into familiar objects, giving a boost to convenience and security without really standing out as a smart home object. Now this is just a quick preview. I'll actually be diving deeper into each of these brands with upcoming short form videos. Now Govi did showcase some of their signature gaming and pixel lights, but they also took a step forward blending smart lighting into traditional home decor. So for indoor spaces, they revealed their Uplighter floor lamp, the Govi strip light with Skyline kit, the Ceiling Light Pro, and the impressive Table Lamp 2 that's powered by a JBL speaker. All these systems integrate cutting edge technology with a stylish aesthetic that's gonna blend in to most modern homes. Now for the outdoor products, Govi expanded their collection with the up-down wall light, pathway lights too, and lamppost lights, adding both flexibility and visual appeal to your exterior spaces. The Acara booth showed off some new products that include touchscreens that have integrated light controls and relays, light switches that have integrated screens, cameras that function as thread and Zigbee hubs, and smart plugs that double as thread border routers. They also display their new battery-powered millimeter wave presence sensor and an entry-level hub that just needs a USB port for power. These new products seamlessly integrate with your existing smart home devices, eliminating the need for a dedicated hub or additional hardware. They can also be used to extend your smart home networks, giving you more flexibility and convenience. Now, one of my favorite booths to visit is the Shelly booth. They've always been known for their out-of-the-way devices. Most of their products will install right behind an existing light switch. And with their new Gen 4 ecosystem, they support Wi-Fi, BLE, Thread, and Matter all in the same device. They also have a new dimmer module that can simplify in-wall. They have new dimmer modules and some great solutions for multi-way switches that can pair with some of their attractive Bluetooth remotes for some greater flexibility. They also showed off a new wall tablet that I'm super excited for. So smart home technology is evolving faster than ever, from multifunctional robots to lifestyle-friendly designs but I'd like to know which one of these trends or devices are you the most excited to explore? Let me know down in the comments or reach out to any of my socials. I'd love to chat about what you'd like to see coming up. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see my other videos coming out from CES. Thanks for making it this far in the video and I'll see you on the next one.